When I was a child, my favorite game was Lego. Sometimes I take care of kids building Lego houses. It is impressive how fast they can lose the Lego pieces. And do you know what they do? The kids that I know use gum. So I find out which are the kids that do it and put them in timeout. Thus, all the Lego houses are made only of Lego pieces without gum. Now, imagine that the human body is like a Lego house. The Lego pieces are the good tissues like muscles, neurons, or blood vessels. The gum represents the tissues that are not good for the human body, like fat and scar tissues. Every tissue is made up of cells. When our normal tissues are damaged or lost, very special cells called stem cells create new tissues. Stem cells are like the kids building a Lego house. Just like the kids can use Lego pieces and gum, stem cells can form both good and bad tissues. By the way, as I am a stem cell researcher, stem cells have been really like my kids in the last five years. The bad tissues lead to several diseases and to the malfunctioning of the human body. What we want is after injury to make the stem cells to be the good tissues and not the bad ones. Now I ask you, are all the stem cells the same? And here comes my thesis. We study stem cells attached to the blood vessels called pericytes. Using molecular biology techniques, we discovered that there are two different types of pericytes. We call them type 1 and type 2 pericytes. What is very interesting is that they have completely distinct functions. Type 1 pericytes only form the bad tissues like fat and scar tissues, while type 2 pericytes only form the good tissues like muscles, neurons, and blood vessels. This is important because now we can develop therapies that will block only the stem cells that form the bad tissues. For instance, after spinal cord injury, bad tissues like scar are formed and take the space of the good tissues like neurons and blood vessels. Now we know which stem cells we need to block to eliminate these bad tissues. In the future, our findings may lead to the cure of these and other conditions that require tissue regeneration. However, our experiments were done in mice. Does the same happen in humans? We still don't know, but my thesis is not done yet. <laughs> Thank you.